Welcome sa sip9.com. This video, tutuloy natin ating series on quadrilaterals at itutuloy natin yung ating discussion on parallelograms. No? So, dito sa video na to, ang gagawin natin is ipoprove natin that uh, if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its opposite uh, angles are congruent. So, here we have, yung given natin is ABCD and it is a parallelogram. And angle D, we have to prove that angle D is congruent to angle B. And angle DAB is congruent to angle D or PCD. Okay. So, first we have uh, draw, oh, we have our statements. No? So, ito yung pinaka-proof natin. This is our proof. We have statements and we have reasons. O, kung napanood yung mga previous sa uh, previous uh, videos natin, nakita natin that for every statement, meron tayo dapat reason, no? Or reasons. So, draw AC. Anong pinaka-reason natin? Anong reason natin? Bakit pwede natin mag-draw ng ganito, no? Well, sa kay Euclid, ang unang postulate ni Euclid is two points. Given two points, you can always draw a line. Uh, connecting them two points determine a line so yung sinabi ni Euclid doon na line not necessarily line but the uh, line segment also no? so pwede yan by, uh, by uh, Euclid's postulate number one now number two ano pang alam natin alam natin that AB is parallel to CB And AD is also parallel to BC. Ano yan? Definition, definition of a parallelogram. Namang definition ng parallelogram? Two opposite sides are parallel. So ito yun. Parallel sila. No? Pwede natin gamitin dahil doon sa definition ng parallelogram. Next, we have angle 1. No? Angle 1 is congruent to angle 4. Oh, sorry. Lagyan muna natin ang number. Angle 1, 4, 2, 3. So, angle 1 is congruent to angle 4. At the same time, angle 2 is congruent to angle 3. Ano yung ibig sabihin niyan? Uh, bakit, bakit pwede yan? Kasi, since parallel ito, pwede natin gawin niya na uh, parallel lines. Tapos itong diagonal na ito, ito yung transversal natin. Uh, sa ano rin ito, ha? sa This is the fifth postulate of Euclid. Sinabi, sinabi ni Euclid that, uh, I think uh, it's a consequence of the fifth postulate that given a transver uh, parallel lines, given two parallel lines and a transversal, their uh, corresponding angles, sorry, their alternate interior angles are congruent. So, alternate, alternate interior angles are congruent. Titipad, nagtitipid tayo sa space, no? Kaya yung ating, uh, medyo maliliit yung ating sulat, no? Next, we have AC, is congruent to itself. AC is congruent to AC. Well, of course, a segment is congruent to itself and that is by reflexive flexive identity. No? Flexive identity. Okay? So, bakit kinailangan natin to? So, kung mapapansin niyo dito, meron tayong angle 1 is congruent to angle 4. Tapos, meron tayong uh, Angle 2 is congruent to angle 3. At yung sa gitna natin, meron tayong side. At napag-aralan natin na, no? That if you have two triangles and yung kanilang uh, two corresponding angles are congruent. So, ito corresponds to this. That's one pair. Sorry, two pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. So, this is one pair. This is two pairs. And yung nasa gitna, napagitnaan ng dalawang angle, yung included side ay congruent, then these two triangles are congruent. 
So by ASA, angle, side angle, triangle ABC, ABC is congruent to triangle CDB no, or CDA. This is by ASA, congruence, theorem. No? Okay. Next. So, ano nang alam natin nung nalaman natin to Alam natin that angle D, we know that angle D is congruent to angle B. Ano natin nalaman yun? Sabi natin ay corresponding parts, corresponding parts, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent ah triangle na isulat ko congruent corresponding parts of alin ang correspond, corresponding part ng B ito corresponding part niya ito sa angle angle 1 and angle 4 angle 3 tsaka angle 2 corresponding parts din sila so ano ang corresponding part niya ito tatlo lang naman yung angle ito tsaka ito no? corresponding part sila at since sa prove natin sila yung congruent triangle pa yung isay congruent congruence theorem. Therefore, angle D is congruent to angle B. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay, so isa. Na-prove na natin to, no? Angle D is congruent to angle B. Di ba? Yan yung na-prove natin. Next. Ano pa ang pwede natin i-prove? No? Alam natin that measure of angle 1, this is uh, statements again. Statements, reasons, reasons. Measure of angle 1 is equal to measure of angle 4. So measure of angle 2 is equal to measure of angle 3. Reasons, congruent angles are equal. Measures of congruent angles are equal. No? So magkaiba yung congruent sa equal. Ha? Magkaiba itong dalawang to. Sinabi mo congruent, walang sukat. Dito meron tayong sukat. For example, ang pwede lang yan, ang, pwede, ang analogy dyan, ito pwede mo lang silang ipatong at tignan mo kung pareho yung angle nila. Hindi, mo, hindi ka pwede mag, maglagay ng sukat pag ito. Pero pag ito, pwede ka maglagay ng sukat, kung 30 degrees. 30 degrees. No? So yun lang yung nilang dalawa. Okay. And of course, pag, pag equal sila, congruent din yan. No? Vice versa din yan. Next. Since equal to tsaka equal to at the same time equal to tsaka equal to. Ibig sabihin, pag nag-add ko ng dalawa, measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 equals measure of angle 3 plus measure of angle 4. Kasi ito, equal silang dalawa, di ba? 2 tsaka 3. Tapos 1 tsaka 4 equal. So pag 5, what if 5, 10, tapos 10, 10, 5. Oh, sorry, 5, 10, tama, tsaka 5 ang 1, tsaka 10 to. So, therefore, ang 1 ay 4. So, 5 ito, tsaka 10. Pare silang 15, ang sum nila, no? Okay? So, anong, anong pwede natin? Addition, of pro, add, addition property of equality. Addition property of equality. Equality. Next. Okay. Paano, paano to? Paano yung sunod natin? So, alam natin that uh, measure of angle 1 no? measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 is equal to measure Measure of this whole angle, no? Hindi ako nag -blue, no? But anyway. Measure of angle 1. May space naman tayo. So, measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 is equal to measure of angle DAB. Tama? And then, measure of angle 3 plus measure of angle 4 is equal to measure of angle BCD. Okay. This is 
by angle addition postulate no angle addition postulate ano siya sabi sa angle addition postulate pag may dalawa kang angle na magkatabi tas inad mo sila is this whole angle no this is one angle and this is another angle adjacent sila pag inad mo sila dalawa the measures same as the measure of this no so yun yun dito ngayon if if measure of angle 1 plus equals measure of angle DAB, no? ibig sabihin, since equal sila, measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2, pwede kong i-ano to, i-substitute. Measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 is the same as measure of angle DAB. Tapos from here, meron akong equal. What is the measure of angle 3 plus measure of angle 4? Measure of angle BCB. This is substitution. So, sinubstitute ko lang yung ito dito sa equation. Which means that angle D, AB, is congruent to, tra to angle BCD. Bumalik siya. Remember, kailangan ito yung... Bakit pwede na ito? Ah? Sabi mo pwede na ito, equal na sila. Again, ang pinuprove natin that they are congruent. No? Pag equal sila, congruent sila, but dapat mag mag-arrive tayo sa statement na to. So, these are congruent angles. Angles have the same measure. Pareho nung kanina. Binalik na natin siya sa congruence. Okay? So, na-prove din natin to, no? Here, we arrived at the statement. So, we have proved, na? No? Dahil dalawa na yung na-prove natin, ito at saka ito, we have proved that if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Then, it's opposite angles are congruent. We have proved that angle D is congruent to angle P. Where? Ito yun. Ito, ito statement na to. And then, we have also proven that angle A, or angle DAB is congruent to angle BCB. And this is a statement. No? Okay? So, ayun, pero kayo natutunan sa video na ito. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.